G'day Blues fans and uh, welcome along to House Brothers Oval again this evening uh, for another edition of Blue Tube In and Under. We're here tonight with club captain Jade Sheedy. It's taken us a while to get to him but uh, we thought we'd leave the best to last. Um, now we've finished the minor round we thought we'd get the captain to give us a bit of an idea of how he thinks we've travelled throughout the minor round and set ourselves up for finals footy and uh, have a bit of a chat to him about a couple of other little bits and pieces. So Sheeds, um, we've got the third spot, got the double chance which is great, um, come up against Centrals this week. We've done the work. Um, I guess it's just a case of going on with it now. Yeah, no, it's been a good year um, from all, I think, reserves, under-18s and league this year. We've all finished in the top three, so I think at the start of the year, if you said we'd finish top three, I think you'd take that. There was a fair few people riding us off with um, what had happened last year, obviously losing a lot of AFL blokes and Ian Perry and uh, Feasty and, and Whitey, some real quality there. But uh, to Normo's credit, he's stuck with uh, the juniors that are coming up and have done a really good job. And, um, yeah, the club's are looking in a good spot at the moment. Yeah, we've got Centrals this week, so looking forward to them. We, we built them early in the year and they got us uh, last week, but I think uh, pretty confident going into this week, that's for sure. And your, ma your mates, uh, your fellow chippies, the Gowans boys, mate, uh, always uh, good for a laugh on field, I'm assuming. They'll have uh, something special for you planned on Sunday? Not my mates. No, no, they are. <laughs> they, uh, no, they're all right. They, uh, once they cross that white line, they just... Got that fever, but that's fine. Uh, we've all got that, so no. Nah, look, we're just the best way to beat them's on the scoreboard. So uh, you can't argue or anything with them. That just fires them up. So just get into them and uh, kick a few early goals, and then let them argue amongst themselves, hopefully. And uh, mate, young group this year. Uh, Normo touched on before, um, and like you just touched on, then lost a lot of experience uh, at the beginning of the year. This young group ten seems like it's really gelled pretty well over the last four to six weeks. So uh, hopefully that uh, that means good things coming over the next uh, few weeks. Yeah, I think you know the club this year and in further in future years we're we're going to be uh, we're held in good stead now. We're starting to get blokes that have played 40, 50 games, and I know in 2002 it's the last time we had some success. We um, we're starting to get that, so I think we're really you know with um, Herring and McClay and you know Scooter's been here two years now and uh, Craig Evans and Paddy Fidock and Cabillo, like there's just a group of them. Um, that you know are really good league players now and a week in week out playing good league footy so you're not getting that inconsistency so uh, no the club's definitely in good stead. And yourself personally Sheeds, um, your season this year how would how would you rate it? Uh, you happy with where you sit at the moment? Happy with the fitness and how the body's uh, travelling at this point in time? Yeah not too bad um, obviously helps uh, when you're winning and the boys have looked after me a fair bit but Norma has been really good for me uh, this year he's you know we've um, I've, I've missed a couple of sessions here with obviously got a young family now and um, I guess the body's not getting any younger so uh, no Norway's been really good and obviously I've played a few different roles this year I've played up forward a bit uh, and on a wing so yeah you know the last few years I've just mainly been in the centre so it's definitely been good for me. Yeah mate you touched on the family can you give us an update on the uh, the family Sheedy uh, mate it seems to be growing every week every time we turn around there's another one on the way uh, you want to perhaps give us an update of uh, how the little ones are going and what age they are and names and so forth? Yeah yeah sure I've got uh, Ava she's 18 months now um, or close enough to and young Will six weeks so both going well and um, no nah, look I think it, it definitely mellows you as a uh, you know you don't worry too about too many things when you've got two young kids and they're both healthy and Kel's been a great support obviously she's she does most of the work obviously with with work and footy I'm not home much so no nah, everything's going well though. And mate, uh, I'm not sure what the SNFL rules are all about these days but uh, as far as father son rule mate uh, you getting the footy in his hand as soon as possible or what? Oh, look, yeah, that, that'd be ideal if he wants to play footy, but, you know, the old cliche, you, you let them do whatever they want, but um, as long as they're happy, but, yeah, obviously, if he, if he played for Sturt, that'd be great. Now, mate, uh, just in closing, uh, we know that uh, there's a fair army of, of Double Blues fans out there uh, in Adelaide and, uh, and across the nation, for that matter. Um, have you got a message for, for the Sturt fans about getting along and supporting the boys uh, on Sunday and what it means to the boys to have a, a, a big supporter base there? Yeah, no, the support has been really good this year. We've obviously, um, I think we've only lost once at home and, and you know, a lot of that... Uh, has to do with the supporters. I think once we really get on top, they're nice and loud and coming up against Centrals, who we know are probably the loudest. So if we can match them this week. So all Blue supporters, get out there and get behind the boys. It does mean a lot. Well, no worries, Sheeds, and, and thanks for your time and uh, supporting Blue Tube here tonight, mate. We appreciate dragging you off the track and, uh, you know, having a bit of a chat to us, but I'm sure you won't mind that, mate, on a Monday night. No, any time, Rhino. No thanks, problems. Mate. Thanks very much to the Blues fans for uh, supporting Blue Tube this year. Uh, this is obviously the last one for the for the minor round, so uh, we'll look forward to interviewing Pap Sheeds and a couple of others, hopefully over the next uh, three or four weeks, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll speak soon. So uh, good night from House Brothers Oval.